and more houses now a day or back then. There was uh, far more houses in, Kilo in Kingsway and Riverside as there is now. There were a lot taken down. I think they were back then because there were roads, kind of, uh, there were pit roads, houses, kind of, there were pit houses. There were quite a few there. The pits were, it was a big pit and there was a lot of houses. There were 5,000 people in Kirkona at one time. So they had ought to be housed. Riverside extended right away down to the bridge as well, and they had the side roads too. Mon Street, Man Street, Elliot Place, they all come off the of Kingsway. Was there many windows in houses? No, there wasn't, and they were quite small. I don't know why that would be, but they didn't get any big windows. A lot of glass makes your place cold. That's maybe why they had wee windows. And they had oil lamps, of course. It was all conserving heat to make their houses warm because they were cold. Why is there more than one chimney on a roof? Because every fireplace had its own chimney. In fact, my house, my wee house, it has got three chimneys. You so could see fires. Yes. There's a fire downstairs in the living room. There's a fire upstairs in the bedroom fireplace and uh, there must have been a, a fireplace in the kitchen as well. So that's why there's three chimneys. But they're not in use now because I don't have a coal fire. Why was there so many chimney pots? It's because, uh, well, we had been coal, they could have maybe say two bedrooms and they would have a fire in each room plus the wee kitchen that there would be an well, we had coal fires in them days. We didn't have gas fires or electric fires or anything like that. So, because this was a mining area, so everybody, nearly everybody got coal from the pit. Mm. And uh, it's quite handy, that's what they wanted. It'd be nice to have a, a fire in your bedroom, I didn't know. Mm. <laughs> you could make toast and everything at the fire. You went down, you did your homework in the bedroom with your fire on. Why were, the, why were the chimneys so tall? Well, it's kind of technical that because it's something to do with the draught. You know, the draught takes the leak up into the atmosphere. And if the chimneys was too short, you got leak in your house. That no, wasn't good. Did they have big gardens like we do? Yes, definitely. Because they used to grow their own vegetables. Why were there no gardens? That's funny because there were plenty of gardens. Lots of people grew their own vegetables and fruit. My husband had his own wee garden. He, he, he lived in the riverside. He had his own wee garden. His dad used to tell him what to do, what to grow and buy seeds for him. And he was growing fruit and vegetables ever since. Maybe the gardens are at the back. Because that's what it, what my house is like. The front door is right on the street and the garden is at the back. Well, they did have gardens, but they were usually at the back of their houses and they grew a lot of vegetables then. Tartus and carrots and turnips and, because people wanted to feed their families. You know, had their, and sometimes there was allotments, there was allotments down at the, the river. Did people use bins back in the, those days? Yeah, but not the be, really bins. You had the actual carry them out yourself, down steps and everything. We had bins, no really bins, we just had bins. <laughs> no, no bags put in them, though. we just put the rubbish in the bins. <laughs> when did the factories look behind the boundary disappear? Oh, that was the gas work. That was the gas works. That had you know have you ever seen these big gas works at one time? Yeah. When the gas pressure was high, these rose up, and then the pressure was down. They used to come away back down again. But there were two. It was one there. You can just see the end of that one in there, and it was the gas works because it was all gas life at that time. Um, there was a factory in there, and we're wondering what you would make in the factory. No, I don't know. Was that near the pit? I'm not sure, but we thought it was a factory. It does look like a factory, but it must have been before my time, because I'm young. <laughs> <laughs>
what kind of factory was behind the bowling green? I don't. I don't remember a factory behind there at all. I think that is the pit head, you know, where the, where the, the pit used to be. I think that's part of the, the pit building. Because my husband was a miner. He started down the pit for the first time on his 14th birthday. So he was really young. Did they have minor wheels? Like minor wheels, like oh, the, the, the big wheels. Aye. aye. Well, that was for the the mines. That was for the chimney. The, that was where the cage was, and the men were doing the cage. Doing the pit. Why is there no pavements? I suppose. Before the pits got going really well, there wasn't enough enough money in the village to do a lot of paving to the roads and the pavements. And then when once the pits got going, a lot more people came to the village. And um, there were more shops, people were buying things. And that would um, bring more money in. That would give him more money for it. Because some of the income from the miners went into the village and so that gave them some money to do things. So that I just imagine that as the mind grew, more people came to the village, that would bring more money. And then Kirkconnell started to be, Kirkconnell and Kellerholm started to be a really prosperous place. Did you ever go and play bowling? Yes, I did. did you really yes. Uh -huh. But at that time, the ladies were only <laughs> we're only suffered. <laughs> you only got to play when the men had yeah. the game on. Mm -hmm. So we had a Tuesday morning mm -hmm. and, and Wednesday night the ladies was allowed to play on it and we had a, a the ladies cup. Uh, on the Wednesday evening, it was a mixed night, right. so we got playing with the men then. Mm -hmm. And on a Saturday night they had a mixed night. But otherwise, you only got on the, the ladies only got on the green for a competition as long as the men weren't on it. <laughs> but the ladies were still doing all the teas. <laughs> Do you know anyone who went to the bowling green? Oh, the, oh, the ladies and the mature gentlemen all went and enjoyed themselves there. Why was it so small? Because it's quite big now and it's, it just looks a bit smaller than that. Because there were no bar in it at that time. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the extended, you see, there were only the small windows there for the, you know, to look out, and then that's where they would sit. And this side was always, you just used to go in there and on that door, they didn't have a side door to come up like what they do now. Mm -hmm. And they, they used to put their the lockers for their, their bowling uh -huh. shoes and their bowling clubs, and, uh, their, bowling, their bowls, I should say. Mm -hmm. But uh, there were no bar in it. Why did they have white lines across the green? Well, that just looked like the day they knew, but they, they put strings on them. These are strings oh. for to put the lines that was in that man, that couple there had to play in that, in, in that line. And then uh, maybe they would be like that for a week, and then the next they would lift them up, and then they would put them down that way, so that the green wasn't getting used on the one way. Do you know why it was called County? Um, it could have been called after the king at that time because before Queen Elizabeth became the queen in about 1952-53, her father was the king. So it probably was called after King George VI. Well, that, that, that's my guess anyway. Why were there no tar in the road? <laughs> it was just rough roads that they hadn't started. Really putting those only like big main roads that we'd have tar at first. The country roads and like say so these roads would just be like rough stone. They were tar marked as far as I came, like you know, <laughs> that picture's taken way right. before in my time. Mm -hmm. This house here has got the big triangle. This was number one. Mm -hmm. That's where my my in laws stayed in number one and they had a triangle there and it was fenced off. And they put their vegetables, that was their garden. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the roads was tarmacked as far as I could. Mm -hmm. What was the roads made of? Well, I think they would just be like ash, can't really think of. I mean, I can't imagine them being like that. This is a guy all full of this. I can always mind them being tarmacked, but, but it was always really tarmacked because when we do it to play in the summertime, you get your tar on your bare feet. <laughs> Did the roads have lines, if not why? 
Well, they didn't have tarmac. It was just see the ra the, ra the tracks. Mm -hmm. It was just horses and carts. Wow. Mm -hmm. They didn't have cars. See, there's then there that's a big wheel with the uh, mm -hmm. cart. They just all had carts. They didn't have uh, they didn't need lines. <laughs> we didn't have loot cars. Why were the roads so wide? For the horses and carts. Yeah. And they just didn't bother making. Nowadays they're all tarred and everything, so they have to be kind of uh, settled with and everything. But then they just, if there was a space, they just used it as a road, basically. And horses weren't bothered about whether it was even or whatever, they just went and went their own way. <laughs> and the wee boys and girls didn't have bikes the same. They would have these creeks. And What, what were the lampposts like? Were, were they different? Well, I think these ones would have been like for the gas, but uh, maybe a wee bit the same, but earlier on I think it was the gas one. What were in the lamppost? Uh, like that one. In the lamp. Oh, well, it was gas. There was a gas light in there, it was like a mantle, and there a man came round about and he pulled the thing down and it lit them up. It was the gas. The gas man used to come up, up with his long pole and light and like the gas lamps. That'd be awful boring. No, it was all right. Because you'd have to go to yes. every single lamp post. They did. That was the lamp lighter. That was his job. I kind of do that.